Hi everyone, welcome to Bold Learning. This is the third example from our discussion of the Mohr circle. So what we have here is an element or rather a state of stress wherein we have sigma x is equal to minus 20 megapascals and we have tau xy is equal to 60 megapascal and sigma y is equal to 90 megapascal. And we have been asked to rotate the element in the anti-clockwise direction and unfortunately I have not mentioned it here but we are going to rotate this element in the anti-clockwise direction or the counter-clockwise direction. So from the previous examples we have had already constructed the Mohr circle. We calculated the sigma average, we found um, the value of the radius and so on. Now let's rotate our element by theta is equal to 20 degrees. When we rotate our element by theta is equal to 20 degrees, as discussed earlier, in the Mohr circle we have to rotate it by twice theta which is 40 degrees. And that is how we locate the point P on the Mohr circle. Connect P to C and C to P. Drop verticals from those points to the sigma axis or the normal stress axis and voila we got sigma x prime and sigma y prime. Now it is basically trigonometry. Sigma x prime is sigma average minus r cos 40 plus 47.49 which is basically trigonometry and you get 31.43 megapascals and sigma y prime is equal to sigma average plus r cos 40 plus 47.49 degrees which turns out to be 38.56 megapascals and the tau x prime y prime is the distance of p from the sigma axis and that is r sine 40 plus 47.49 which is 81.32 megapascals. Now let's construct or let's draw the transformed element. We have already calculated sigma x prime, sigma y prime and tau xy. Now just put it onto the diagram. We have the normal stresses in the x prime as 31.34 megapascals and we have normal x normal stresses in the y uh, direction as sigma y prime which is 38.56 and we have the transformed shear stresses of 81.32 megapascals i hope you have benefited from this video please subscribe and show your support so that i can make more videos also, please do drop your comments in the comment box if you need any discussion uh, in mechanics or civil engineering in general. Thank you.